guys so today I'm going to be filming my birthday haul for you all um, I got lots of lovely things for my birthday my birthday was a week ago today when you're watching this video um, so I thought I'd get it up for you guys and show you what I got for my birthday um, I love all of the things that I got they were so lovely really thought out gifts um, and my main present for my birthday was the Canon 700D that I'm filming on right now uh, which you'll probably be able to notice that the quality is a lot different to my iPhone that I was filming on before um, I have had a few teasing like teasing teething issues with it um just with kind of um with the lens and kind of autofocus and manual focus so at the moment I'm having to get other people to focus it for me um which is slightly annoying um which so that's the reason why there wasn't a video on Monday and also I have been so ill this week literally I've just been in bed the whole week yesterday was the first day that I actually went outside um, and I went to uni yesterday I didn't even go to uni on Tuesday so I really haven't been very well but um luckily it like cleared up for my birthday and then went again um I like, kind of cleared up for my birthday and then and, like came back and I was awful again um, but luckily I wasn't ill for my birthday uh, you can probably still hear it slightly in my voice but um, I'm not quite coughing as much and I haven't got quite as bad as a sore throat um, so yeah I'm going to show you everything I got for my birthday I'm not going to kind of do it in like a certain order I'm just going to kind of like go through things uh, one of my favourite presents was this um, and Bradley got me this, and it's a print um, of Breaking Bad. This is Walt from Breaking Bad um, in a copper frame. Can we just appreciate this? Like, together, it is literally the most amazing present in the world. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely love this. I think it's so, so cute. Yeah, it's just the best present ever. Um, so, yeah, I got this, um, which I love, and it's going to go on one of my walls. Uh, but, yeah, love that. Then, I'm just kind of, as I said, picking it out at random. Um, a few presents from my auntie. Um, she got me this, which says home on it, and it's like a little heart. Um, it's really, really cute, and it'll go somewhere, like, in our house. Uh, it kind of looks like it should go in the bathroom. Uh, but, yeah, I got that. And then these are the prettiest things in the world. They're these hooks from Sainsbury's. Can we just appreciate that? Can you see that? It's so pretty. Um, there's three hooks, and they're so lovely. Um, I don't know how much these were, but, like, Sainsbury's, like, they're so cute. Um, so, yeah, love these. Don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but literally, I think they're the most prettiest thing in the world. If I can't find a final place here, I'm gonna, definitely going to take them home, because I love them so much. Then I've got presents from my friends, and uh, two of them got me some Quality Street and Celebrations, which are like my favourite things in the world. I love Quality Street and Celebrations. Quality Street are my favourite chocolate, and roses come in a very close second, maybe on par with them. I just, I just love them. I love Christmas, so I think that's why I love Quality, quality Street so much, but literally, I love them so much. But I'm a bit concerned that they've slightly changed the formula or the taste or something of Quality Street. My favourite are like the orange and strawberry like cream ones. What are they actually called? Oh yeah, orange cream, strawberry delight. So yeah, they're my favourites. Uh, but yeah, Quality Street, Celebrations. I also like Celebrations, but I don't like Twix or Snickers. That's my only problem, but I really like the rest of them. Um, but yeah, got these two, which is fab because I just love Christmas so much. So Christmas related chocolates were amazing. Um, then I got some vodka jelly shot moulds and they're in the shape of little jelly babies how cute um i haven't actually used these yet we're going to use them on my birthday but we're just kind of running around doing lots of things so when the evening came we actually hadn't done these yet um but yeah these look really really good um i think apparently on the, on the back on the back it says do not consume if already intoxicated what the hell um yeah basically i think you just get jelly obviously make your jelly put your vodka in it and then yeah you can have vodka jelly shots so yeah i thought these were a great idea um then what else have we got in here um, we then have three very exciting things that my dad got me um and obviously my mum and my dad kind of split the cost of the camera because obviously it's really expensive with the lens and all of that kind of stuff so they split the cost of the camera and they got me that like as a shared main present uh, my dad was really really thoughtful and went into basically he reads lots of magazines and stuff like that um and in the style magazine which is i'm pretty sure is in the sunday times every week which i absolutely love reading um and he reads it as well and um he said in there there was something about um Aldi um like the shop Aldi um, and their new range of Lacura skincare which has been out for ages and ages but their new range of caviar illumination skincare so it comes like in the kind of range there is this which is the seven days intensive treatment luxury anti-aging care for radiant and luminous skin um I always say I always gear towards things for anti-aging not because I want to anti-age at all. I am 20 now though, so maybe I should start thinking about it. Not because I want to anti-age, but mainly because I just want to know that um, kind of it's 
very good for illuminating and radiating your skin um, and I think that's why I really like anti-aging products just because they're not necessarily anti-aging for me they're just really like illuminating which is something I really like for my skin um, so we've got that I've got the caviar illumination day cream which I love I've been using it so much um, and then I've got the three minute cell renewal pill mask which I haven't used yet but I'm really excited to use um, I absolutely love all of these things. Um, I've been using this, um, but one of the one thing I would say, they come in little like pipettes almost. Not pipettes, like little little ones like this, if you can see that. Um, like, I don't know what you call it. What do they call them? Oh, am ampoules. Anyway, they come in these. And there is almost too much liquid in one of those for one application on your face, because this is supposed to be like a day treatment, night treatment. Um, so yeah, I do really, really like this. Um, but you could probably use this for more, you probably use it for 14 days, because you probably only need half of the little tube thing, if that makes sense. But yeah, really, really excited to have those. Um, and now, if you're in any Audi, that all sold out. So really appreciative that my dad like saw that and thought of me. So that was really nice of him. Um, then what else do I have in here? Oh, I've realised that one of the things is in the... Oh, no, it's not. It's here. So, my friend Martha got me this really, really cute um, little frozen... What do you call it? I'm guessing it's supposed to be a pencil case. But she put some little makeup bits in here for me, and I absolutely love this. Oh, I've just realised it's got Elsa on the other side. That's so cute. So you might choose whether you want Anna or Elsa. Um, so, yeah, really like this. And I'll probably keep this in my bag with a few lipsticks in it. I really like it. Um, but, yeah, and it's a really nice look for a brush as well. Good size. Um, but she also got me the Essie Cashmere Matte uh, Nail Liqueur in the colour um coat couture uh but yeah it's this really nice like taupey color um it's a really weird formula it's like matte but slightly got a shimmer to it because it has got a shimmer in it and it's actually really nice i don't actually normally like the formula of matte nail polishes but this is lovely um then she got me this eyeshadow from maybelline which is the color show eyeshadow in copper fizz it's so pretty it's a, such a lovely copper color um i used it the other day and it was really nice i feel like it'd be really nice to use wet um, just because it's just a really nice colour and um, there was a little bit of fallout but it's really really nice and then she also got me the 17 how would you say it? it's in my drawer so I'm going to go and get it but 17 eyeshadow in the colour rose quartz which is so pretty uh, but yeah and so I put more in this little pouch which was really cute um, then I'll just find something else then she also got me this Yankee candle in Tarte Tatin or Tarte Tatin did that sound any different? It smells so good. And if any of you know, when you, when you actually open a Yankee candle, any candle, you're actually supposed to smell the lid to smell the exact fragrance. Um, love this. Really, really nice. Smells of apples, apple pie, that kind of scent. Love this. Um, I've got quite a few candles for my birthday, actually. I think I got three. Um, but yeah, really, really grateful for some new candles. I love burning candles at this time of the year. Earlier on, like, from, like, kind of, probably April to, like, August, I don't buy any candles, but like once it gets to now, I'm like, yes, candles, um, and I absolutely love them. Um, then my friend Erin got me this, which is so pretty. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Um, and it says on it, friendship isn't a big thing, it's a million little things. And I love that quote. I think it's because I've got it the wrong way around. I love that quote. It's really, really cute. I love it. It's really nice. Um, so I need to pop this. But I haven't actually put things up because I've been waiting to film this video. Um, then Erin also got me some bits from the H&M Beauty range um, and I was so grateful for this because I really wanted to try some bits and I can now tell you it is fantastic, I love it. Um, so this is the first thing that she got me and this is one of their Colour Essence Eye Creams in Daphne Truffle. I really like the name of their range and um, I love the packaging, it's so nice, it's so on trend. This is a cream eyeshadow, it's very pigmented, I've used it kind of as a base. When did I use this? A couple of days ago, I really liked it. Use this as a base, really nice, lovely um, and it's kind of really easy to build up as well, like smoke out, really nice, lovely packaging. Um, then this one, which is fantastic, I've been using this a lot, it's the High Impact Eye Colour in Candid Almond. Um, and again, love the packaging, kind of really simple but really nice and classy. The only thing I don't like is there's no mirrors in anything. Um, and I really appreciate a mirror, especially like when I got onto this blusher, there's no mirror in this and it's a good size to have a mirror, that's my only complaint. Um, yeah, this is a matte eyeshadow, it's so nice. It's so creamy, the texture is absolutely amazing. It's so pigmented, literally, it is absolutely amazing for, the, for like 
wrote to be an 8 HMI today. I know the range isn't that cheap. I'm pretty, I don't really know the prices. Um, then you've got the blusher, which is in this gorgeous kind of like, I got this wrong when I said it on my birthday. I said it was a pen, is it a pentagon? Pentagon? Hexagon? One of those is that shape. Um, and this is their Pure Radiance Powder Blusher in the colour Golden Peach. This is just a really pretty colour. Just a really nice kind of rosy peach with nice, nice gold shimmer in it. A bit more subtle than Nars Orgasm but very similar. Um, and yeah, really nice. But again, just a mirror would have been quite nice in this little compact here. Um, but yeah, that's my only complaint. But then it probably would have upped the price. And then the last thing she got me is the Velvet Lip Cream um, in the colour Screen Siren. And I haven't used this yet because it's kind of like a berry um, kind of like colour. So I might take this home with me because I'm actually going home um, in about an hour. Um, just because I was really feeling like going home. Um, I feel I've been here for six weeks now. And I feel like I'm kind of ready to go home. Something's flashing at me on the camera. And I haven't used it before so I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, this. Really, really pretty. I'm going to use it this week. Then my friend Christina got me a Lush bath bomb um, and I absolutely love Lush, I think they're great. Um, she got me the Rose Jam Bubble Room which looks like this, it's so pretty and it smells amazing. Um, I had the Rose Shower Gel last year, the Rose Jam Shower Gel last year at Christmas, oh my god. It was absolutely beautiful. If I could have that shower gel all year round, I would. It is so gorgeous. So yeah, I had that last year and I loved it. Um, she then got me this, which is the cutest thing ever. Um, and it's the Pug in a Mug a Silicone Tea Infuser. I love pugs, if you didn't know this already. If I could have a pug, I would right now. Um, I don't know if actually, yeah, I did get this out of the box. Look how cute he is. So you put your little like tea in the middle there. Um, in there, and then you pop him in your in your mug and he's just really cute just absolutely adorable but like i'm just gonna pop him on my side he's so cute um so yeah i got him then oh and then christina also got me this which is just absolutely fantastic home is where the wine is that is so me um so yeah absolutely love that i'm gonna put that somewhere in my room i feel like i'm just saying random people's names and you probably got no who no clue who these people are but martha then got me this necklace uh which is so pretty um it looks like this um, yeah, so, so cute. Um, I was going to tell you how much it is, but obviously I don't know how much it is. But yeah, it's really, really cute. I haven't worn that yet, though. Um, and then Christina got me this necklace, which is just here. Let me see if I can show you it, because I've worn this, so it's not in the packaging. Here we go. I don't know if you can see this at all, but it's basically just two gold bars, and it's just really, really cute. Oh, it's probably better me showing it against my T-shirt, isn't it? But yeah, I really, really like this. It's so pretty. Um, and I was saying the other week that I didn't really have many small necklaces to wear, like, when I was, like, going out or something. Um, and then, I'll just show you the last things that my friends got me. Um, Erin got me these two, which are just two alcoholic drinks. I probably should have drunk this on my birthday, and I didn't. I've never actually tried these. We've got Smirnoff Cosmo. My phone's just vibrated. Uh, I've got Smirnoff Cosmo, which is a vodka mixed drink. Um, what was it? I think it was just with, like, cranberry juice and orange and lime flavourings and then there's lamb cello which is lightly sparkling um, and mix of juicy pears well sounds nice anyway yeah i got these two so i'll be drinking those sometime soon um yeah so that is all that's in that bag um then we will move on to the next one I feel like this video is going to be quite long. I feel like it's like a bit mismatched everywhere. Um, so, Bradley got me this. Um, I absolutely love this. I haven't actually mentioned actually. Bradley's main present to me was um, he took me to Cloud 23, which is in the Hilton in Manchester. Um, and it's a lovely, lovely kind of like restaurant. Um, it looks out on the whole of Manchester. It's so nice. Um, so, yeah, it's on like the 23rd floor in the Hilton. Um, and it's called Cloud 23. So, he took me there for my birthday. We had afternoon tea and cocktails, and it was absolutely amazing. So, that was kind of like my main present. Um, because it's not the cheapest place in the world. Um, so yeah, he got me this, which is from ASOS. I love this. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a sleeveless, like, jacket type thing. Uh, really, really nice with a little belt. Um, and yeah, I've been wearing this so much. It's like this mustardy colour. I've worn it like three times in the past week. Um, so yeah, really love that. My bed looks like such a mess right now. Um, he also got me this skirt, but unfortunately it doesn't fit. Um, it's a size 8 and it's quite big. Um, but I do always go for a size 8. It's this skirt and I do really like it. Um, and this is what it looks like. It just goes down a little bit, but it's just a little bit long and a little bit big. 
Um, and because it's quite long, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get the same skirt. Because I feel like it's still going to be the same length if it's a size 6. Um, so, yeah, I might have to swap this with something else and get a refund and get something else. Um, it is a really nice skirt. It just doesn't re really fit my shape, if that makes sense. Which is a shame, because if it was a little bit like shorter and wasn't quite as long, it would look really nice. Um, what else is in here? Oh, he got you one of these, which I love. I used to have these all the time when I was little. Brad didn't actually know this, and I love these. These are like these little things in like the little like tree things, and you grow them. Does anybody else remember having these? I used to love them. I love presents like that that are like quite, I don't know, just things that you used to have when you were younger. Um, then he got me this. Oh my god, I love this. It's from Jim Chapman's um, kind of stationery range. And he just said, I really thought this was you. And it says, eat, sleep, blog, repeat. Um, and obviously, like, I didn't blog, but as in like YouTube y stuff. Um, so yeah, really love this. I think it's really cute. It's a really thoughtful present as well. Really like that. I don't know what I'm going to put in it though. I don't want to use it as a makeup bag, which is a pencil case. It's just quite a big a big thing for a pencil case, isn't it? Also, I forgot to mention this. Uh, my friends got me this, which says Jess's 20th birthday. Um, so yeah, really, really cute. Love this. Really, really nice present. Um, so yeah, I wore that when we went out on my birthday night. Um, then also from Jim's range, Bradley got me this, which says notes to selfie on it. It's a really cute little book. Um, and he said that actually came with the pencil case, so that's good. Um, but yeah, love those. What else is in here? Oh, uh, basically, I'm just obsessed with Christmas. I love Christmas so much. When Zoe's been doing all of these like Christmas hauls, I'm like, yes, Zoe, completely agree with you. Um, this is a Santa's spoon. It's a little little hot, it's a little Santa, and you dip him in your hot chocolate and stir him round. It's just the cutest thing in the world. Um, and Bradley actually thought it was a lolly, and then realised it's actually hot chocolate. So that's absolutely fine with me. One of my favourite things that Bradley got me, and you're going to think, are you joking? He got me some hammer beads. Does anyone remember these? Oh my god. He also made me a hammer bead key ring, but I don't know where my keys are. I think they're under all of this mess, so I will show you that at some point. Um, but yeah, he got me some little boards, he got me a square one and a um, heart one, and then got me some kind of like mixed hammer beads and then some bright ones. But oh my god. This makes my life so much, like, it's just the best thing in the world. Um, yeah, and then he got me this. Look how cute it is. Um, I just really like presents like this that are kind of silly and just things that I just that make me laugh rather than, like, serious things. Uh, I much prefer things that, like, make me laugh. Um, yeah, so this is what this looks like. It's so cute. Um, it's like a little house. It's got little post-it notes on the top, and it's got a little, like, um, what do you call it? These things. What are they called? Oh, they are post-it notes. Well, they're just little pieces of paper. But yeah, these are like, they're just so cute. It's like a little house and I just love that. Um, then I got some glow sticks from Bradley. These were so cool. Um, I absolutely love these. They're just things that I used to have when I was a kid and they just make me laugh. Like, I don't know, I just really like presents like that. I keep saying that, but I, I do. Um, and then he also got me some little pencils, which I thought were the cutest things in the world. In this little triangular thing um, and a lot of this is also from Tiger because well Tiger's like my favourite shop in the world and we don't have one in Manchester because someone please explain why it's ridiculous um, my brother then got me um, two candles um, he got me Yankee Candle Christmas Eve candle and Yankee Candle Snow in the Love candle no Snow in the Love candle I asked for the Yankee Candle Christmas Eve one because oh my god I just love this candle so much um, I've never actually even had it I just the smell is just so good and every year I'm like yes I'm gonna get that and I never get it so so, yeah, really, really happy with that. And then, I don't know where it's gone. Bradley also got me a Lush, um, Lush, what am I saying? Lush, Lush lip scrub in um, the bubblegum flavour. Because um, he got me the mint one, like, years ago. I'm still using it, and I absolutely love it. So, yeah, he got me the um, bubblegum one. Um, and then, he also got me two Lush shower gels. Now, the are upstairs in the shower. They're all slippery and white, so I didn't think there was any point in me bringing them down. Um, but, they're so cool. He got me the comforter shower gel. Oh, my God. That bath, what do you call it? Is it a bubble bar? Yeah. That bubble bar is literally, like, my favourite out of all of the bubble bars it is literally amazing i love it so much so to have it in a shower gel has made my life i love it and then he also got me um i forgot what it's called it's like bright yellow um and it's got cocoa powder in it but i don't have a clue what it's actually called 
It's like you you know you you know yellow and cocoa. I don't have a clue. Along those lines, anyway. And you got me those, and I love them. I've been using them every single day in the shower, and I love those so much. They just smell amazing. And I'm gonna try and find this key ring that Bradley made me because it's underneath all of this rubbish. I've just realised I've called all my presents rubbish. I didn't actually mean that. Bradley made me this key ring. Can we just appreciate? This is Walt from Breaking Bad, and I'm gonna put him against my T-shirt so you can see him. Just look at that. Literally one of the best presents I've ever had. Um, and it's just, it's just great. I really love it. Because I know Bradley made it and that was just, I don't know, such, such a lovely present. Um, so yeah, one of my favourite presents this is. I love it. Um, so yeah, got that. And there is one more gift and I can't go and get it right now because this camera will unfocus. Um, so I'm not going to get it right now. I'm going to show you it in my next video. Um, just because it was a really lovely gift from my friend Chris and I thought I would, I want to show you it. Um, and so yeah, that's going to be my next video. Also, my presents from my mum because she got me a few little bits to go along with the camera um, are at home and I'm going home today so I will open them then. I'm sure I mentioned the video at some point or a vlog or something like that. Um, but yeah, so these are all the lovely things that I got for my birthday. I'm so, so grateful. And the Canon 700D is absolutely amazing. Um, I feel really professional or having like a proper camera um i don't know just in comparison to like this thing over here like and i can actually show you my phone look this is the thing i filmed on for the past year um so yeah also, I am going to be getting the iPhone 6S Plus in rose gold. Um, so I will be doing like a what's on my iPhone or something video um, with that um, at some point. Um, so yeah, I can actually do it now because I can actually show you what's on my iPhone because I'm not filming on it. So that's going to be fab. Anyway, um, I'm going to go now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, and enjoyed seeing all the things that I got for my birthday. I really, really had the best birthday weekend ever. It was one of my favourite birthdays. And I am actually quite happy about being 20 now before my birthday I was so nervous I was like I don't want to be 20 it's too old but now I feel quite grown up to be honest being 20 um yeah it is old though I have to admit um anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will speak to you very very soon